What's happening, y'all? Uh, just want to do a little quick uh, range day recap. And as you can probably tell, it's raining its ass off. Uh, we were uh, both soaking wet. Uh, Garrett of Landers Weapon Solutions and I went to uh, his other range that's uh, a little closer to home. And uh, me not being normally optimistic, I really didn't see, uh, I was hoping that the rain would quit, but it just got worse. Uh, and I guess what I took away from today was I tried to take away something each day from my live fire, live fire sessions. Uh, today the big takeaway was, one, uh, whenever you train uh, live fire in a um, different place than you normally train. Uh, so I have been going to the same range and shooting for the last two and a half years uh, and I have my favorite bays that I like to shoot in. Well, I have shot uh, at a friend of mine's uh, property a couple of times here and there. Uh, but for the most part, 90% of the time, I've been shooting at my range uh, that I go to. And like today, I went to a different range. And it was uh, whenever I first started shooting, you know, starting our session, our training session, I sucked. And um, and it was the same feeling I got whenever that whenever I was working out in the gym a lot. Uh, I would go visit a friend's gym and go be a guest at their gym and work out and train with them at a, you know, a different place. And it was hard to get my intensity up, hard to get my, uh, my head right uh, because I was in a different, uh, different surroundings. Uh, I was out of my element. Uh, you know, and I think that there's something to be learned from uh, training outside your normal element, you know, going to another range to train uh, in changing it up because uh, your mind gets so accustomed to one set of surroundings whenever you're live fired and uh, you know you, you you're only able to shoot in 180 degree uh, surroundings you know and you don't want to break that 180 uh, so and if you have like me have a couple of perfect you know uh, favorite ranges you know uh, bays that I go to it definitely you know you get real pigeonholed in uh, your mindset and how you feel and how you move and react in your given uh, range that you always go to so to kind of break out of easy hold on there so to kind of break out of that um, you know which I think it's important that you know, especially after today, I realized that I really needed to get out, get away from my range that I'm so used to, so accustomed to every single detail that's out there. I needed to get out and go shoot somewhere else and, and get all those distractions coming in uh, because it made a whole hell of a lot of difference. Uh, I wasn't, you know, it's like my fundamentals kind of went out the window, and I, I, it's it really bothered me that uh, that just shooting in a different range or a whole, you know, a different range bothered my shooting that much. Uh, you know, my fundamentals sucked. You know, I've been doing nothing but dry fire forever. I've uh, been really working on my draw, working on my press out the past week. You know, a few days this week, uh, and cold right out of the gate just suck just straight suck and uh, and that that's what uh, Mr. Landers and I was uh, you know kind of talking about was you know that's the kind of thing that you need to do you need to get out and train outside of your comfort zone or train in different scenarios or different areas different places uh, because man I it, it really threw me off and think about this if you had to defend yourself with your firearm you know uh, you're not gonna be at the gun range you're gonna be 
somewhere where you're not really supposed to fire a firearm, uh, you know, unless your life depends on it. And so that's a, that, that, that brings up a whole nother point that, you know, it, knowing your surroundings and knowing your target and what is beyond it, you know, those, those big key elements, these, these laws of uh, gun handling that you cannot break. Um, and, you know, because how weird would it be? I mean, even if somebody's, you know, active shooter come in shooting up the place, uh, you know, and you, and you can take the shot, how weird would that be to pull a shot off in public, to, you know, to just, I can't even wrap my head around it, you know, and, I, and that's the whole point of, you know, these uh, close quarters combat, uh, you know, all this stuff, you know, scenario training, active shooter, you know, you know, force on force, you know, is to get your mindset right, and I, I can't wait to be able to try some stuff like that. But, hell, just going to a different range completely threw my shooting off for the first 30 minutes. Uh, you know, and on top of that, another thing that I found that was bothering me was, is I was, it was raining like a cow pissing on a flat rock. I'm just, I'm getting wet, and my clothes are wet, my gun's wet, everything's soaking wet, my safety glass, you know, my shooting glasses are fogged and full of water, uh, got rain running down my face and in my ears and my ear protection, and and whenever that buzzer goes off, my hand still worked. It's still ready to go. The part where the part that threw me off was just, you know, I let all these conditions uh, dictate my shot. I, I let these conditions um, take my concentration away from what I know I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, you know, these distractions uh, caused me to not think about getting a good press out and finding my front sight, uh, keeping the gun where it needs to be, you know, uh, tracking the dot, you know, the, the front sight, you know, between target transition. Just everything I've been working on at home at Dry Fire went out the window. Just, you know, and if you really think about it, it sounds silly that what it's just rain i mean it's pouring down rain there's you know I, it was lightning all around us there was lightning hitting the ground i mean it was it was a mess there every time you know one time i took a shot and it scared the hell out of me because the lightning popped right behind the berm so once once i was able to tune all that inclement weather out and tune out that i was kind of cold and wet and gross and I'm like a cat in the first place I don't like to be wet <laughs> so once I was able to just get it out of my head you know just just do work shoot forget about all that other shit it doesn't matter and once I put that out of my mind I was good to go I, I shot better than I have today uh, in a long time I, I, I felt like I did really good there toward the end I had some good uh, first shot uh, you know, out of the holster on the, you know, first round draw and all that stuff. Uh, and I know a lot of that has to do with uh, being able to perform cold. Uh, my cold standards are not really up to par. They're not really that good. It takes me a little bit to get warmed up and get moving and everything going in the right direction. But uh, there really was no excuse for how I performed right out of the gate. I can do better than that cold. And I just let my surroundings and my uh, current situation dictate how, how I shot and I shouldn't have. And so I invite anyone to go out and shoot in piss poor weather. Uh, bring you some spare clothes, a towel, and you know some, uh, some cleaning patches for your gun. Let your gun get wet. You get wet. Get, get your equipment wet, you know, wet, the stuff that can get wet. Uh, and see how see how your stuff performs. I'm not saying you got to throw it in the damn water. Uh, we did do that today. We threw a CZP 10C uh, in the water, and, and it was muddy, gross, brown flood water. Uh, and we got some good footage of that. You need to go check out uh, Landers Weapon Solutions uh, on Instagram and and check out that because that's some pretty cool footage. Uh, and I'm a pretty good cameraman, so 
uh, you need to check that out. And that that I'm not saying you got to do that. You can leave that to the professionals. <laughs> but let your equipment get wet. See what it feels like to grab your gun wet. See what it feels like, you know, whenever your clothes are soaking wet, your shirt's soaking wet, and you have to grip your shirt and it's clinging to you, and it's and it's wet and nothing, everything's slippery and and all screwed up. You need to see what that feels like, and uh, and and that is just another facet of uh, you know really simple thing you can do to make your training more difficult, and more dynamic is just let the weather suck. Just go out and shoot in the rain. I, you know, uh, it was a real eye opener for me. Uh, Garrett loves to shoot in the rain, and I always thought he was crazy, but he is a little crazy. But uh, <laughs> love him. Uh, yeah. So even when it's hot, like we have some really terrible, hellish, like ninth level of hail hot uh, type summers in Southeast Texas. And that makes a difference too. When you're fatigued, you're baking in the sun, you're soaking wet with sweat, it's burning your eyes. You know, these are things that are normal everyday things. This isn't like you're training to go to, you know, uh, Iraq or anything. This is just shit that we normally deal with that could happen. You know, scenarios that could affect us uh, should we need to use uh, lethal force. Uh, it's going to be hot, it could be cold, it could be wet and raining, soaking wet, you know, flooding. Uh, there could, you know, different places, it could be, anything can happen in any place at any time. So, to wrap it up, that was my big takeaway was going to and shooting in a new place and the weather sucked and shooting in terrible weather and, and pretty freaky lightning storm situation that we was in it just all these things made everything difficult but once once you tune all that shit out and just just let yourself do what it knows how to do let your body do what it knows how to do you're going to perform once you just quit worrying about all the extraneous stuff yeah it's raining yeah it's cold you know my shirt stuck to me uh you know cutting glass it doesn't matter the gun is in the holster it's loaded and ready to go you have a target that's all that matters. Getting your front sight on the target and pulling the trigger. And being able to tune all that other stuff out is very important. So uh, just think about it. And if you have any comments on this, uh, I'd like to hear what your take is on shooting in terrible inclement weather and lightning storms and stuff like that. And uh, I'd like to see what y'all have to say about it and uh, maybe have a good conversation. So uh, anyway, get out and train. Maybe train in the rain. Maybe train in the heat or the cold. Just do some training.